is going on Star Wars fans and welcome to another Star Wars theory with your host as always KMAC time now I want to give a big thank you and shout out to the reddit user cyber commando for putting this theory together and I'll leave a link to the original thread in the comments down below but without further ado let's jump right in Star Killer base is the base the First Order uses during the events of The Force Awakens, but it may have already been featured in a few episodes of The Clone Wars and we never even noticed it. Recently, StarWars.com tweeted this image which says, quote, Did you know Star Killer base was once a little known planet rich in energy focusing kyber crystals, some of which were used for the Death Star's super lasers? So there are a few things that that picture tells us. First, the Empire has exploited a planet that has a large concentration of kyber crystals for their own purposes. Second, the planet must be a military secret. Third, the planet is not well known to the galaxy at large. And finally, the planet belonged to the Empire before it belonged to the First Order. Well, you may be wondering what this all means. Well, there is one particular place that we do see in recent Clone Wars episodes that meets all of these criteria. And in the very brand new Ahsoka book that just came out like literally like a week or two ago, Ahsoka visits Ilum while looking for kyber crystals for a new lightsaber. When she exits hyperspace, she sees that the Ilum is occupied by the Empire. Not only is it occupied by the Empire, but there's a huge mining operation taking place where they are drilling away from large portions of the planet. Ahsoka even says that she can see magma from the planet's core from outer space. We also know Elum was a planet used by the Jedi to collect kyber crystals for their lightsabers. Young Jedis would go there and perform a test and if they passed they would receive crystals for their first lightsabers. This planet appears in the episodes entitled The Gather and A Test of Strength. Furthermore, the book Ultimate Star Wars says that Ilum exists in the unknown regions of space and we know that this is where the First Order first built up their big armada. And finally, possibly the most intriguing piece of evidence is the canon map of the Star Wars galaxy. If we take a look at the star chart, we can see that the killer star base origin point is in the unknown regions as stated before. But once we overlay an older canon star map over the newer one, we can clearly see that Ilum and Starkiller Base are in the exact same spot. That to me is a dead giveaway that the two are in fact one and the same. And that we may be getting more information about this in either a future book, future Rebels episodes, or even somewhere down the line in other Star Wars movies. But anyway, that's all I have time for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments. I would love to hear your opinions on this. Do you guys think that they're the same? Do you think they're maybe just in the same system? Maybe they're sister planets, maybe one's a moon. I would love to give all of your guys' thoughts and information down that in the comment section down below. Let's get a good discussion going about this. Also, make sure to hit that like button. Let's try and get this video to at least 500 likes over the end of the weekend. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, Feel free to subscribe for more Star Wars theories and cartoon theories. And check out some of my previous Star Wars theories I've done. Links in the description and the end slate. But until next time, guys, remember that it's always K-Mac time somewhere. Till then, take it easy and peace out.